హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు బయోటెక్ ఆర్ఎండీ లబోరేటరీస్ ఇయర్ కార్డ్ బయోటెక్ ఆర్ఎండీ లబోరేటరీస్ హెస్ బీన్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ ఎలక్ట్రోఫోరోసిస్ యూనిట్స్ పవర్ ప్యాక్స్ యూవి ట్రాన్స్లమినేటర్స్ బ్లాటింగ్ అపారటస్ అండ్ జెల్ డాక్యుమెంటేషన్ సిస్టమ్ ఫర్ ద పాస్ట్ ఫార్టీ ఇయర్స్ వీ ఆర్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది మార్కెట్ లీడర్స్ ఇన్ ఇన్ జెల్ ఎలక్ట్రోఫోరోసిస్ సిస్టమ్స్ వీ హర్ సప్లైడ్ అవర్ జెల్ డాక్యుమెంటేషన్ సిస్టమ్స్ అండ్ అదర్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ త్రూ అవుట్ ఇండియా టు మెనీ ప్రొసీజర్స్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్స్ క్లినికల్ లబోరేటరీస్ In this video, I will demonstrate how to use our 1D gel analysis software for image enhancement and image analysis. This software can be used to analyze the image captured through our gel documentation system. Now, our gel documentation system would come along with a CD that has 1D gel analysis software. Please use the CD to install the 1D gel analysis software. After installing the software in a system, please use the dongle or the flash drive that came along with the CD. into your system now let's run the 1d gel analysis software after installation you will see this icon d gel dash double click on this icon now the application will start to run here click on file then you open the image now you would have captured the image from the gel documentation system and transfer the image to a folder in your laptop or computer please go to that file and select that particular image for installation purpose i'm using this sample 1 image here i'm double clicking on it now the image enhancement box will be open now this is the image that we are choosing to analyze in the demonstration you can see many buttons that are present here such as crop flip vertical brightness contrast smooth we can use these options to enhance the quality of the image that is captured through the camera first option is to crop this will uh, will require only a selective portion of the image for our analysis so choose that particular area for analysis here i'm just choosing this area we can flip the image vertically or horizontally by using these two buttons we can also rotate the image clockwise by clicking on this button now also adjust the brightness and contrast of the image so that the bands and lines are clearly visible and also whatever noise or dots that are present in the background those are removed i'm adjusting the brightness and the contrast here you can also use the smooth button to fine tune the image quality just keep clicking on it for fine tuning the quality of the image now you can use the option emboss to see the presence of the bands although this particular embossed image cannot be used for analysis you can use it to find out how many bands are present and how many lanes are present for your reference similarly diffuse also cannot be used for analysis but you, you can see the band and the lanes the option invert this is used to invert the image background this is a protein gel image where the background is white in color and the bands are in dark color if this is a dna gel image then the background will be in dark color and the bands will be in white color for using this 1d gel analysis software the image should be in such a way that the background is always white and the bands are always in dark color so this is where we use the invert to invert the image so all the dark colors will become white and all the white colors will become dark see i have inverted the image so that the white background has become dark and another click of invert will invert the image again now after enhancing the image click on the process button here so that the enhanced image comes here now we move on to the next part which is the analysis part so for analyzing we have to again select the experiment area now click on the experiment area and choose the area after choosing the experiment area click on auto lane we can see here that the lanes are automatically detected and they are also numbered 1 2 3 4 5 6 sometimes it might happen that the bands from two different lanes can be merged in that time the auto lane option will not detect these two lanes as separate lanes but it will detect them as a single lane so in such case we have to remove that lane and draw the lane manually so we can draw the lane manually also this software has that option how to delete the lanes that are present just go to that lane that, that you need to delete right click and you delete it so right click and delete lane now 
click on the manual lane button to choose the lane use your mouse to draw a horizontal line for a band so after doing this the lane will automatically appear so this is how you manually draw a lane that is by selecting the width of the band you can draw the lane now similarly you can use the auto band button here to draw the bands automatically you can see that the bands for every lane is drawn automatically now sometimes the bands can also be closely placed so in that case we may have to manually delete the merged band we have to delete it and draw that band manually let's delete the band first let's say we are deleting this particular band now go to manual band click on manual band button and you draw a vertical line corresponding to a particular band so when we draw it you can see that these two bands are manually uh, selected and created yeah this is how we manually select a band now we have seen the option of automatic lane selection manual lane selection automatic band selection and manual band selection once this is done click mark peak button to get the peak areas in the bands now go to analysis go to molecular size determination now for molecular size determination we have to first choose the standard lane or the marker lane and then enter the values so let's first choose the standard lane so here let's say lane 3 is the standard lane we can also give a name to the sample name so enter the name here i'm just entering a rough name now enter the molecular size there are two bands in lane lane 3 so enter the molecular size for these two bands so i'm entering a random value 5000 and 4000 now click whether the sample type is a protein dna or a rna and press okay now we can see the protein molecular size determination table where uh the rf for the re relative mobility pixel area and size are found out so lane 3 is the standard lane and the values are found for the remaining five lanes lane 1 lane 2 lane 4 lane 5 lane 6 the values of uh, rf size and migration are calculated automatically from our software now let's look at the graph so this is the linear curve protein molecular size determination graph go to analysis go to options to change the type of graph so we can choose linear curve quadratic curve linear log curve or cubic spline curve the default is linear curve now we can see linear log curve result similarly go to analysis options choose some other graph type linear curve so this is the linear curve result go back to analysis options and change the graph type to cubic spline so cubic spline will require minimum 3 bands in the standard lane so we can see that standard lane has only 2 bands here so for this particular type we cannot use the cubic spline curve now go back to analysis options you can use quadratic curve as well so this is the result of the quadratic curve now go to analysis densitometry tracing so in the densitometry tracing you can select all the lanes or you can just choose individual lanes lane 1 lane 3 lane 5 for densitometry tracing so after that when you click yes you can see the densitometry tracing curve and also the densitometry tracing table now go to analysis again select quantitative analysis and choose the standard lane and enter the values for the marker or the standard lane so i'm entering 5 and 4 for band 1 and band 2 now we can see the quantitative analysis table on the graph quantitative analysis graph so once you enter the value of, for the standard lane the value for the remaining bands in the lanes are calculated here
So these are the different analysis modules that are covered in the basic version of the 1D gel analysis software. We have advanced version of gel analysis software where all these particular modules are covered and we have an extra dendrogram. So dendrogram option is present here. Click this dendrogram button and we'll find the dendrogram here. There are different matches such as simple match, jacquard and dice. Choose anything that you want and then you can choose the similarity or dissimilarity option that are given here. So I'm choosing similarity. Once I choose this, we can see which are the lanes that are relatively similar to each other. So here we can see lane 1 and lane 3 are closely related. And then the next one is lane 2 and then lane 4, lane 5 and lane 6. Similarly, you can choose dissimilarity also to find which are the lanes that vary vastly. So there are diff different options as I told, jacquard, dice, simple match. Click on show lane name to name your lanes. Go to edit lane name, go to edit lane name. So here you can enter names for each lane. I am entering a random value for lane 1, lane 2, lane 3, lane 4, lane 5 and lane 6. Once you click OK, you can see the lane names changing here. So this is how you use our 1D gel analysis software for analyzing your image. Now to take a uh, report of the experiment, use this report option here. Choose the uh, analysis modules that you want to take it as a report and then click OK. You can see that the image, the graph, uh, the tables, whatever are related, they are present here. You can annotate the lane names, band names. You can even enter text value by using this particular tool. Use the arrow mark here and then text mark here. You can enter the uh, details and click where that particular text has to come. So likewise, you can use the annotation options in your report. Now to get a detailed literature about how to use the gel analysis software, click on this button. Here you will find the complete literature about how to use our digital gel documentation and analysis software. With this, this demonstration about using 1D gel analysis software from Biotech R&D Laboratories, Aircar, is over. Thank you for listening.